All right, so homie, right. you know, they ain't gonna see us coming because you know, we got matching chairs. Yours just a little bit bigger than mine. You know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, if y'all want to sponsor us, I got like a hundred pounds on top of you. Oh <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yo, bro. If y'all, yo, stream. I almost called y'all stream lab. Stream secret lab. Secret lab. Come on, yo, you boy. You know, hey, hey, secret lab. You want to sponsor <laughs> us? You know where to hit us up at, yo. You know where to hit us up. Got big and slim over here in the secret Facts, lab, bro. Too. Facts. So, bro. I know you, I know you want to start off going to hit us with the first tip though. All right, all right, all right. So, man, it's acting all cool over here. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to be a content creator, huh? You really do? Yeah, you want to be a streamer, huh? Uh-huh. Mhm. You smarter right. than a fifth grader? Step 1. Be yourself, man. That nobody want to come out here and watch you, you know, acting like somebody else or and, and it's just like no one no one wants fake you know and they can sense that so quick yeah like, like if you're just pushing yourself so hard like it's just like it's so noticeable it's like these people like bro we know you don't talk like that but you over here talking like this whole time your throat first of all your throat <laughs> gonna start hurting second of all your your viewers gonna be like who is this dude he weird and you ain't gonna have no viewers. That's just defeating the whole it, point. It also just makes it harder to make content in general when you're forcing yourself like that. Like it's just like I don't know, man. Don't be fake. Just don't Yeah, like eventually the fakeness is gonna wear off. If you're if you're acting like you got a whole bunch of money, Conor McGregor over here, you ain't got nothing. Like one day somebody gonna see you at an airport in a cab, not getting out of limo. Gonna see you with your dusty ass shoes getting, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you, they, some, somebody gonna expose you one day, you know, and it ain't gonna be pretty. So, best I, thing is, yo, be yourself, like he said. I just see it as, you know, as a platform of Twitch, like, or just in content creating in, in general, they, a lot of people, there's a good bit of portion of people that are come there and watch you based on like what you're making content wise or what you're streaming, right? So, like, what game you're playing, that kind of thing. But, the people that like 99% of the time stick around are the people that like you. Mm. And if they don't have nothing to latch on to because, you know, you're just acting like an ass or whatever you want to say, like it's a, not going to be like a bald tire you know, pretty much. Yeah. It's just, it's pointless. So I don't know. I, I just, I think, you know, that's a big one is number one for me was be yourself. Mm. So coming in with number two, I'm going to hit y'all with a heart when y'all really don't want to hear, but it's very necessary to understand when you get into content creating and streaming, which is don't expect instant success. I just said that really weirdly, but don't expect instant success. Don't expect <laughs> instant success. That's a tongue twister. It really is. But look, <laughs> big look. money, big fast, right? <laughs> yeah, man. But look, look, on a real note, yo expect early failure if you want to call it that i really don't believe in failure unless you just stop trying but it, just just be prepared to feel like you have failed multiple times when you start up and be prepared to hurt because it ain't you know it ain't nice like starting off streaming man you you might have one viewer and then maybe yourself or somebody else that don't even watch a stream but they're a family member or a friend who just wants to support you and eventually they may get tired and leave you know and you just stuck with the one to zero viewers i've been there before when i started up bro like man i left stream straight up depressed and the, the, the thing i'm gonna get on that later but to top it off i was monitoring who was watching my stream and then i realized yo that person said it was gonna be here ain't here and now i'm just like talking to myself so yo it, it's really hard in the beginning and you got to prepare yourself for that temper yourself yeah it, it's it's one of those things that you know it it's obvious that you know, people make money in this kind of form, right? It's obvious that, you know, people make it big. However, you want to look at the big names, Ninja, Shroud, all that kind of stuff. YouTube side of things, depending on, you know, who you look up to. But you have to, like, it's okay to want to make something of yourself as a content creator. There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Exactly. But to walk up on a platform and be like, I deserve all these views. I deserve all these viewers i deserve all these subscriptions entitlement you're dead wrong you're dead wrong mm -hmm. entitlement you're dead wrong and, and if you start off going you know if i don't get this much right now it's not worth it you're you're already wrong you're starting it off wrong you should be here for for fun or enjoyment granted there's nothing wrong yeah like i said with having that goal you know like i want to be able to get enough money to do this or do this that's fine but don't set a goal for it like as in like it has to happen now like I have to have this now, 
like or it's not worth it you're doing it wrong it's it's just not gonna happen it's kind of like um i mean if pewdiepie of all people had to work for what he had what makes you any more special to him to the point where they, you should just have everything in that one moment what, what what like comparing comparing yourself to you look pewdiepie markiplier Corey kenshin those are youtubers you look over ninja streamer i don't like i know more youtubers than uh oh yeah streamers. yeah i'm the yeah, streamer side I'm, here yeah <laughs> I, I'm, I'm new to streaming relatively new it hasn't even been a year for me but um I, like when you look at these guys it's like what makes you better than them to the point where you're you feel more entitled and you're just like i should have more or as much as them and i just start streaming in a month we're recording videos in a month like they had to work for theirs so now you have to feel the pain and work for yours and really i would i won't lie i would love to have success like as soon as possible but at the same time you won't enjoy it as much unless you actually felt the the pain from it you won't enjoy the good fruits without the bad labor or the labor in general because labor is good to know how to get to somewhere and find your success that kind of segues into my next tip here and uh is you know your, your biggest part of your success i've learned now through streaming um and it's it's an obvious one but you'd be surprised how often people forget about it it's your community man mm -hmm. you're not nothing without the people around you which my tip number two is be a part of your community yeah and i don't mean i don't mean you know occasionally go in there and talk and be like oh hey how's it going like once a week or like in your discords or whatever talking in your comments and your youtube videos like once a month <laughs> not, yeah like you need to be an avid part of the community just as much as the people of the community are there you know like you have to be this not like i know you obviously you can't match the same amount because you're the content creator i get it yeah but they want to feel part of something the same way that you want to build said community mm -hmm. and if they don't feel linked up with you as in you know like you talk to people you ask people how they're doing and like and that's a bigger thing for a streamer like myself you're a streamer as well but like yeah. i said you're mo you're mostly a youtuber yeah so i kind of relate vice versa like you're more the comments guy i'm more of the live <laughs> chat guy so like when i have you know like a community building like that the biggest part of twitch for me and the thing that grew me most into it is the ability to talk to the people that love your content like yeah. avidly live all the time and i think that's amazing but you gotta be part of the community you're building yeah like i have like i, I stream three days a week so i'm like like two i'm not too newbie but like i see where you're coming from because it's like for me back when let's say i don't want to flaunt too much but back when uh black ops 2 zombies was like the the thing uh i don't flex know if you've heard boy, of flex yeah on. flex on you, do you remember <laughs> do you remember uh mr t lexify in the smith oh, place yeah. oh yeah oh yeah bro oh, yeah. So that was back when I was a kid, bro. I was into zombies. I ha bro, I had my freaking Xbox uh, 360 and my Xbox One. Um, so it was like, it was back then. So I remember um, commenting on one of my many YouTube accounts that really failed because I just kept deleting before I could even make a, <laughs> you know, make a certain goal. But I remember uh, commenting on Mr. T. Lexify's videos and this dude would actually reply to me. And this dude, he was, he was, he was before a million, a million back then, uh, before a million subscribers. And he was actually talking to me and like, I was just like, yo, a YouTuber just replied to my that, comment. Dude. And that's another cool thing about it is like we're average people, but yeah. a lot of people look up to us and like, damn, bro, that's crazy. This guy's doing this. And yeah, man. Like I'm, I'm low in on the Twitch spectrum, <laughs> but like people are still think you're a, a, a superstar when they talk to you. Yeah. And like that's the that's the cool thing about it is just that alone, just you going into a you know a comment and going, yeah, man, that's pretty cool. I appreciate the comment. That that person might be hooked on the rest of life on you. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna stay there. They're gonna watch you. They're gonna be part of your community. They're like, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, like, man, it's crazy because in, it got to the point where, like, I actually, um, I was able to join one of his games, too, Mr. TLX Fox. Actually, two. We failed at both, but I saved him in one game, and he <laughs> shouted me out. He was like, yo, you know, I ain't gonna reveal my name so y'all don't go look for my old YouTube channel. It's cringe, but it, at the end of the day, it was just like, yo, I got to play with a YouTuber, and now seeing him with over a million, it's like crazy, and uh, it, it got to the point like uh he used to have his uh skype open and everything so 
and I've experienced this firsthand where I would talk to just normally talk to some people or go on YouTube and reply to comments. Uh, a couple of my videos are blowing up right now and people will come on there and just leave a comment. And I literally just give them a simple reply. Or if we're having a civil debate, I'll give them a really long and descriptive comment on what it is like, just like I'm another viewer and they, you have no idea. They may not be too fond of me at first, but when I reply, it's like, yo, you got a new uh, a sub and thank you so much for replying to me. And I'm like, I just commented. So firsthand, I know, and it feels weird now. People just really love when you interact with them, when you read their chat. And, and it's, and the, I think it's the craziest just... part is like nowadays, like I understand like the big wigs, like the higher up people, it's impossible to please everybody. I get that. But it's crazy how much content creators don't get that. Mm -hmm. They don't get that they need to be part of the community. <laughs> like they can't just be a face like it. And it doesn't work that well, espe I mean, especially on Twitch. Mm -hmm. I think YouTube's a little bit more of a like, you know, you have a little bit more distance from your viewer per se. Yeah. But still like it so big to be part of that community, you know, because without those people, you don't have anything anyways. <laughs> Yeah, man. And so like, many people forget that nowadays. And it's because you're this is a difference between YouTube and Twitch. YouTube, you're making a video that somebody can find five years down the line. But with Twitch, you're live. And it's, it's, it's more vital in the that point right there because it's like if you don't have a viewer right then, it can it can affect the short term on YouTube. I put up a video the other day, got like 200 views. It sat and I was almost going to 2000 views and it didn't blow up that same day. So YouTube and Twitch, it's easier to get your stuff viewed on YouTube, but on Twitch, everything in that one moment is so vital. And that's what makes it so important. Agree. But all right, what's what's your next one? Uh, the what's next one? point is another one. Yo, it's another controversial. Not really. It's just it's just a real talk. Oh boy. One, you know what I'm saying? Be careful who you tie yourself to on Twitch and YouTube. Both of them. Be careful who you trust. I know a lot of people love saying, yo, get out there and network. And that's really good. But remember this, whoever you hang around. Is who people look at you and think you are. Don't just and look this this little extra tip. I'm gonna get into that, but don't just make anybody a moderator. That that boils down to being careful who you trust. Get to know the person. Like me and Cap, we talked for a while, but like I wasn't just about to hop on board without looking at his content because what if this man's over here posting furry <laughs> band word, but you know can't, can't, can't associate <laughs> with it. Like what, what if he's what if he's like oh some furry junk on his channel and I'm just like yo let's collaborate without let me, looking. Let me let me hide this mask real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what if this man is look look what if this man's is convicted serial killer like straight up and I don't know because I didn't look at this man's channel like you have to you have to talk to people first of all you have to talk. I made a mistake of talking to people and not really listening to them or getting too close too fast to the point where i'm like yo i trust this person a lot you know and i've been backstabbed for that multiple times and it's really put a dent into my twitch career now i'm, I'm starting to bounce back in youtube too but I, i'm starting to bounce back but it, it put a lot a large dent in it and i just want to stress to people that be being careful who you trust is so important and when it comes to moderator look think about this a moderator is like a manager right on a job uh, let's say um, your employees have, your, let's say the employees are viewers, right? But the manager is looking over the viewers. So a good manager will make sure that everything is going well. Uh, the flow is smooth and everything. A bad manager would be instigating things between the viewers or the employees. They would be letting things go untouched. Let's say somebody says something extremely like a slur or something. They'll be like, haha, it's funny. Like they don't take care of it. And letting someone that you don't know and you don't, you don't have you don't even know them long enough to trust them uh, properly. It's is it could be really detrimental to your channel. It can damage your reputation because when people go into chat, the first people they talk to in chat are the viewers and the moderators. And that's how I got a lot of people to say because of my moderators chatting with them. Because you know, when you're streaming, you don't you can't really like actively talk to them as much sometimes when it comes to certain games. So moderators really help pull in your crowd. But when you let bad moderators who are starting up junk in your chat moderate, that's going to draw people away from your channel and not want to come back.
Yeah, that's uh, that's that's part of like I have a few moderators for Twitch, and it's it's huge because I talk to when I pick moderators or just people that I stream with or people mm-hmm. I make content with. Those people know just like you do, like you're representing me just as much as I'm representing you. Mm-hmm. Like it's 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 a big deal, you know, and it's even more big a deal than it is today because of social media and how yeah, it works exactly but like it, it's huge like because like you said like if i'm not responding to chat right away mm-hmm. they come into that into that you know they just find me they're scrolling they find me they go in there they go hey how's it going chat and people are just arguing or the moderators you know doing this and saying this and they're not responding to them yeah that that represents me that i didn't even say anything to this person and they just left Mm-hmm. They exactly. just left. They don't. Uh, they came for my content, what I'm what I'm showing them, and they left because of the people that are there. They don't feel welcome. It's huge. They do not. Huge. They don't feel at home. And that's like that's the whole community thing. Like you have to, you know. There's obviously going to be bad apples, but mm-hmm. you have to build stuff around the morals and the structure that you want your content to be around. Yeah, exactly. And the whole trusting people is huge. Like because those people you trust and put on that pedestal represent you. And I completely agree with you. It's 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 very important. I had the the ability to learn it early <laughs> yeah. as a streamer, but <laughs> I'm, I'm, but it, it's it's massive. Hey man, getting shot in the foot early on is worth it than getting shot oh, in the yeah. foot while you're carrying so much on your back and making it a more devastating fall. For me, for sure. yeah, man. For me, I was like, I would rather, you know, take some time and moderate my own stuff. Like when a bot comes in, I'd rather do that myself than have somebody unreliable over there doing that because as you said your chat represents you when i when someone comes to watch one of my videos or tune into my stream i want them to literally yo i need a snack this man is entertaining i need to get my snack i need to get my drink i need to get my blanket i need to cover up get all cozy and watch this video or this stream because this guy is so like first of all i i built my community on wholesomeness i had to you know tend to some matters in my discord today because somebody was breaking those rules that i set forward you have to be firm about that because if you let that slip if one person sees one thing slip another one may go out and another one my whole basis is to keep the community wholesome when people come to the stream or they come to the video i want them to feel at home because if someone doesn't feel at home that means they're uncomfortable when someone's uncomfortable they're just gonna go find somebody else to watch yeah, like because they got they got thousands, maybe millions of other people they can go watch. Yeah, they got a whole bunch. Got to make sure yeah. that your your part of of the internet is where they want to be. Exactly. And you know, you that's unfortunately it's it's sad, but it's true. It's not just you that shows that 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 representation. It's not just you on that camera. Exactly. <laughs> all right, homie. Uh, what's the next one? Would go into all right. So. Kind of, kind of relative now to the whole like trusting thing, but grow together, find another person, you know, and and this is a good example of what you're yeah. currently watching <laughs> like right, right here, now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and th- and this, and I don't even mean sit there and leech off somebody. That's not the yeah, same yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. I mean grow together. Like you're not the only dude with a camera trying to make content. Mm-hmm. You're not, you know. And if you were, then. I mean, you're, you're kind of screwed, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, well, I mean, I guess you wouldn't be screwed. You got everybody yeah. in there. Everybody be there. <laughs> hey, exactly. I was about to say last point. Yo, if, if everybody wasn't doing it, everybody would be with you. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's just, you're not the only guy, you know, you're not the only person doing it. And it, at the end of the day, you can have scenarios where you find somebody that you don't, you not only help their content, but they help yours like you vice versa mm-hmm. and you grow together because it it's just kind of it's one of those things where you, sometimes you need a hand in some way shape or form sometimes making content with another person is better you know it, it's all part of trying different things but it, it's just growing together can help a lot uh, especially for the smaller bits of us mm-hmm. because you know we're all looking to be successful and there's nothing wrong with growing together yeah it's kind of like it's um just, it's kind of like me. I was a prime example of somebody who wanted to do it alone because like on stream, I was like, oh man, I should probably collaborate because Cap was asking me, yo, when, when you want to collaborate? And I was just like, you know, maybe another day, maybe another day, you know, maybe another day. And I just realized, hold up, I've been saying this for so long, a tower, if it's standing up a tower, if it falls, n- no one's there to catch it. 
but if another tower comes along that tower falls that other tower is there to support it when it falls vice versa so you had another tower in there if, make me cry, bro. <laughs> they fall on <laughs> they fall all together is more support in them uh, kind of like the more sticks you put together the more uh harder they become to break it's all about growing and like you said leeching is not a good thing if you're just over here like, yeah don't don't go to like some big streamer nah, like you man. know thousands of viewers and be like hey bro let's collab bro hey bro no, let's no. play together bro and bro it, let's make a video bro it's not even that <laughs> like you get you could go and like try your luck at yo want to collab but when I heard Legion, I was like, hey, man, you want to watch my video and click the like button and all of that yeah, yeah. sub for sub. But growing is like creating content with another person yeah. for the means of helping each other. It's not if you're in something to just help yourself. You're yeah. doing it wrong. If it's if it's not a two way street, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Because I, I yeah, like it, I've had it's just supposed to be fun, man. Yeah. <laughs> I, and even on t Twitter, man, I had this uh, this girl streamer. She followed me. And you know, I was like, "Why well, she following me?" You know what I mean? Why she following me? <laughs> Why me? I don't what even have my face on the profile picture, man. Why you following me? And then I realized I was like, "Uh, I look today, and I'm like, she unfollowed me." So she followed me for me to follow her back and unfollow. That's the prime example of Legion because you look at her ratio, oh her her follower to uh following ratio is very is very like. You know it's distant so it's, it's bro, like i don't a, know i don't know where you stand on the whole follow follow bro but i can do a whole video on the follow, yo, follow yo, stuff, i hate it i hate it so oh, much i can't stand it either if you look i've had people come into my dms and i purposely ignore them okay i ignore them because they're like hey bro you want to follow for follow and i'm just like dude ah shit and i'm just like i'm bro. a little different I'm a little different than you, like, because, like, the whole community I build is a little more, I guess, raw, you can say. Because, <laughs> like, I will respond to you in my stream. I, I'll, I'll be nice at first, but then, like, you ask again. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I can't, I can't do it, man. I mean, people don't, people don't do that in my stream, but they'll hit me up on Instagram, and I just ignore because I'm not, like, bro, it's easier if it's on stream, because I'll be like, hey, yo, uh, yeah. I don't do follow for follow. And they, they keep on doing it, you know, you can get the boot, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. <laughs> but like yeah, I, on Instagram, I, I don't waste my finger, my fingers typing, yo, I don't do that. I, I really don't do that. Like, I feel like, first of all, you're not really interested in my content. If you automatically just go sub for sub, you literally just want a number. And how do I know? That's if normally my first response is I'll yeah. just be like, hey, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, yeah, you follow me. I'll come follow you. But you're enjoying what I'm doing. You follow. Exactly. I'll come check you out. And if I like what if you're, you're doing, worth it, I'll follow you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like we did. Like, <laughs> like we weren't on no follow to follow thing. Like uh No, yeah. yeah. I just hit you up and be like, hey dog, follow, follow. Like what's like, up? Yeah, bro. <laughs> like like I, I forgot I cut hold up, did I come to you or did you come to me? I think it no no after after we played a game in DVD and I was Freddy. I found you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what happened. You whooped my ass. <laughs> 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 you looped me for a while, like you like to say a lot, but what uh you came to my stream <laughs> and I was like, Oh, this dude's nice. So I went to your stream and I was like, yo. This guy's really cool. I like the aesthetic. Ain't no weird junk going on. You know what I'm saying? I was like, and that's and that's a great way to find people to grow together. Exactly. With, is you just you go and you be part of their community, and eventually they're like, oh, you streaming? Yeah. Oh, you you're a streamer. Oh, you're a content creator. Yeah. Oh, hey, this is ideal. Let me bounce off you. Or, oh, bro, I'll, I'll film that with you. Yeah, like, bro, <laughs> there you go. yeah even even like, even in DVD, like you said, put TTV in your name. People come to your stream, and they're just like. Yeah. Oh, you might. That's get, that's, yeah. a that's a debatable thing though. Some people yeah, get yeah. real controversial. On that. I, I <laughs> like, mean, you put TTV. I mean, yo, free country. I, it get me views. It work. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I met some the nice, way I look at I it some is nice like, that. I met some root. Yeah, too. I mean, not only that, like it. The way I look at it is, yeah, I I get that it can be kind of cringy. Like I get it. Could be. But like, but you're you're literally. If you're playing a game, like I play Modern Warfare frequently. Yeah. If I got TTV in my name and people i meet in that game mm -hmm. like the game because they're playing it <laughs> exactly so and, and those are the people that will enjoy your content like if you're able to literally go hey man like it's like it's like walking into a lobby and going hey man i know you like you know call of duty here's a sign come, mm -hmm. come over here and watch my content like you're not you're not telling people like that but yeah. it's it's, a, it's an advertisement thing like it, it, obviously you're gonna want people that like the content you make and to the people who so, think it's cringe i may say ttv by the way sometimes on some daquan and you know i know he didn't mean any harm about it either but like Think about it. You're not a streamer in most cases. The people who think it's crazy, you're not a streamer. You don't know the struggle of actually getting a view. So any way yeah, that we can, we're going to advertise ourselves. Why wouldn't we? 
you know, these... Now, unique... like, later on, you know, you get a little yeah, bigger. Yeah. I'm taking TTV out of my name. I yeah, don't exactly, need... <laughs> bro. Like, uh, True but Talent like... and uh, Oz Darva, like, he, they don't need to do that. But, like, like, <clears throat> excuse me. When we start off and it's like, how do these move, these indie movies get found? They dropped trailers. How do these games exactly. get found? They drop trailers. How do you know we're here if we don't drop a little trailer? Three letters. How was that cringe? Three letters. Literally three letters. I mean, it could, it could be worse. I could be going in lobbies going, hey, man, follow my Twitch. Yeah. Hey, bro, follow my Twitch, dog. <laughs> bro, <get a laughs> hey, bull, go watch my YouTube video, bro. Get a bro. bullhorn in the mic up and like, follow the Twitch. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, that that's that's cringy. <laughs> yeah. Going on other like, people's streams and videos saying, follow my Twitch, that is cringe. But literally. What are you talking about, bro? I love that. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Nothing hey. makes me more excited than when someone comes to my Twitch channel and goes, "Hey man, come watch my YouTube." Hey man, videos. come follow, come follow TTV twenty eighty ninety from Cap's channel because <laughs> he doesn't deserve the the followers that he has because they're oh, mine boy. now. Like, bro, oh, that's that's always fun, bro. That's literally fun, man. All right, what you got, number? All two, right, dog? the next what point got? is go vegan. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right, guys, we're ending the recording right here. <laughs> yeah, we're ending, bro. Okay, look, I got you. It's kind of plays as it caps be yourself, but this is like an extended version. Be passionate or don't stream. Don't turn on the camera if you're not going to be passionate. Invest and don't expect a return right away. I want to know why I say that? Because I don't know. Y'all can't see much of this setup. But all of this is probably version near $4,000. I don't have a job. I'm a college student. <laughs> I don't be getting income like that. So... <laughs> Rather than I could have had a PS5 order right now if I want to, I'm working on it. But literally, I'm. It just shows my passion. I literally invest so much money into my streaming setup, and I don't even have 500. I'm nowhere near 500 uh, followers on Twitch right now. I'm like I'm getting there. I'm on closer on YouTube. But like, thing is, I invest money that I'm not getting back. I get a little back from Twitch here and there, but it's not like lows to cover up how much i spend on all of this stuff it's all about your passion are you are you really willing to spend money and sacrifice other things such as clothes shoes and stuff i wear look i, I wear so much stuff this every week like just to just the same stuff every week just to you know keep myself up in this area so that one day i'm hoping yo maybe i'll pop off and i'll get everything plus more that i spent on this but are you willing from the beginning to invest that much? Are you that passionate? And to be fair to the people who ain't that passionate and who will give up when they spend $5 on a $5 mic on eBay and they realize, oh man, I ain't got my $5 back yet. Don't bother. No, it really don't bother. Yeah, it me. don't. It's just, it's, it's, it's another one of those things. Like, you know, a, a good, a good little like thing to say to yourself is, you know, like the whole like I want to make money and stuff is fine. Mm -hmm. You know, goals goals give discipline, but passion gives drive. Mm -hmm. Passion pushes you past that point when you're not making that hundred dollars. Goal passion pushes you past that point when your return on your thousand dollar PC isn't coming. Mm -hmm. You know that that passion brings the yeah I didn't get it today. But I'm gonna go get it tomorrow. Exactly, and if not tomorrow, that's, that's what passion that. is. Kind of reminds me. Um, I don't, I don't like to say that I'm going to fail, but it reminds me of a few things. Juice World, his lines in uh, one song. I'm gonna try, even though I know I'm going to fail. I'm not gonna fail because I don't believe in failing failure until you stop giving up. But it's kind of that mentality. Even if I did, if I knew I was not going to make it, I'm gonna keep trying anyway because maybe something will happen. And it kind of reminds me of one of my favorite fighters. Um. Conor McGregor, this dude, he, he's a beast in the gun, you know, and the dude, like when you hear him talk, it's kind of, I find, I see myself sometimes it's just like, he has this like childish, like imagination and not a bad thing. It's like, you know, a child, when they say they can fly, a child believes they can fly. They, they literally think that, bro, when I was a little kid, I used to pray and wake up every morning, hoping that I could stick to the wall and climb up the wall. I used to wake up my claws. Ah! I used to wake up thinking something was going to happen. <laughs> And like, I've never lost that. I, I, okay, I won't say I never lost it. I think I, I lost that much when I thought I was gonna be a superhero. But when it came to streaming, I was just like, yo, like I can see myself one day sitting here with a million or more on both channels. I could see myself here. And I yeah. was like, right now I'm not there. I'm nowhere near there, but 
I know I can do it one day. If one person can do it, another can. It's all a matter of time, man. My my bro, uh, my best friend Jalen, he 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 keeps telling me, yo, I see you blowing up soon. I see you blowing up soon. And that kind of stuff, it, it, it just it fuels more passion in me because I know that oh, I have yeah. a good yeah. I have good content. I'm not a bum. I got good content. You know what I'm saying? And even when and, I'm and, and yeah. like a thing I've noticed, um, the big thing is that if you if you come to any of this like any of these platforms and you don't have passion, you're your people that will you you might gain a community, but I can tell you one thing, they're going to feel it. Mm-hmm. It is so thick when you don't have passion for something, you're just doing it. It's so easy to tell and it's so thick, man. Like if you have something, you have like a, a the happiness and like the passion that it brings. It's it's crazy how like how smart people are and they can tell like you can, you can see it in your eyes when when someone talks about something they're passionate about personally it's me when it comes to certain games certain movies certain computer building you know the computer building when i get into that stuff you can see my eyes light up like if if i was recorded i'll be like yo who possessed my body man <laughs> i'll be all over the place i'll be like yo hey yay yo you know what i'm saying i'll be it's people can tell they can just tell and man it's it's really like and, and, and you know sometimes it may be a bit discouraging because i won't call nobody else a bum but if you run into a bum who don't have the passion you know i just said i wasn't gonna say it, but i did it anyway but you know hey <laughs> you run into a bum who doesn't have the passion just trying to say bro <laughs> <laughs> if you run into a person who doesn't have the passion and then they have a bigger following to you it could be really discouraging because you're like man i know like you're not being cocky but you just know you know i put so much more effort into my work this dude over here with a paint png with a stripe of yellow across his webcam and he has a thousand <laughs> viewers right now and i'm over here with the epic design that i paid 40 dollars for and no one's watching me it can be discouraging but the thing is you have to remember but that's when you group. step back yeah and you realize that that's not just because they have all that yeah. like the passion is what pushes you yeah the, pa- <laughs> the passion that's what matters man the passion is faith the faith is just dude passion and faith they can do they can make miracles man they can why you think naruto got up so many times after getting battered bro why you think avatar ain't got i'm sorry we've coming out <laughs> well bro, why you why you think these characters and even people in real life they they even cage fighters ufc fighters they get beaten up but they keep on going they got the passion to win this fight they got the passion to keep on pushing man it's it's all about like your boy right here I, w- I, w- I looked boy. at my shirt. I realized I ain't had nobody on it. But on some, on, on some Tokyo Ghoul Kaneki stuff, man, they got the passion to keep going no matter what. And that's how you have to be. You have to be so into it to the point where, look, my parents, they, my parents are like, man, well, my dad mostly, he's like, man, you need to come up, up out of that room sometimes. And I was just like, yo, this is my job. That's why I said, this is, this is my <laughs> career, yo. Like, yeah. it, sometimes you miss out on stuff, but at the end of the day, do you really want it? Because if, yep. if I was working a nine to five, I couldn't come out from out of that room. I'll be having to get stuck in there. So why can't I treat this like, you know, my career? So it's all about passion, investing money. You may not get a return on the instantly, but in the future, you keep on pressing, man, it's it's going to pay off immediately. Like uh, probably not immediately, but it's going to pay off in the future. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At some point, you know, you even yeah. in like, if you're passionate about it, even somebody coming into your, your content and commenting or you're talking in your stream and just going, Hey man, nice overlay. Yeah. That that's gonna push you more He's than a thousand dollars will. Like, it's, like, like, yeah, man. People go like, yo, you're like, damn, yeah, I worked on that. Yeah, man. man. Like, like, thank your, you. Your mic audio is great. I'm falling asleep. You're gonna be thinking about that for like yo, two days, three yo, days straight. Or damn, you like? I just have people bro. to come into my stream and literally just turn it on. And they're, they're, they don't see I'm boring. They just literally say, "Your voice is very soothing." I'm gonna fall asleep to you with your stream on. I'm like. Yo, that just means the world. <laughs> I've never forgotten about that compliment ever. I will never, ever, ever. That kind of stuff, man. Yeah, it's no, like, that's, that's great. It's like great. somebody saying compliment your voice, your your visuals, just just your overall personality or anything, man. It's it's gonna push you forward. It just adds on. So I know I took up like fifty hours with that one. So what's your Fucking, next one? Yeah. <laughs> Eating up my clock. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got no, the wrong arm there, dude. You good, you good. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, I didn't wear my clock. <laughs> Your clock. You wear a clock. I didn't, you I didn't bring it with me because I knew I, I, I shouldn't be looking at it. <laughs> oh, man. oh, man. But all right. I got number four. It's kind of looking back now. It's a little close to what we talked about earlier, but engage, engage, engage. And I think I think there is a difference 
now that I think about it, there's a difference between being part of the community and engaging. Because mm -hmm. like I, th I see, I see engaging more as in like taking somebody out of your Twitch chat, sitting them down, and being like, you know what, man, how you doing today? Yeah, exactly. like, <laughs> like that's like that's that's what I think of as engaging. Like not just you know talking, going, how's everybody doing? Like yeah. literally, write a letter, like type a letter. Yeah. <laughs> Type a letter out to every one of your viewers right now and, <laughs> and be like, I love you. <laughs> hey, just the one like that this man, that's that's like great because I've actually um got closer to some people doing that. Like I have some of my like oh, yeah. best friends. I'll be like, Well, you know, you you know, people you get closer, you just like, Hey, how you doing? How's your day? And that sparks a conversation. I've uh offered to build uh put up computer builds for people on a site so they can build their own computer for the first time. But hey, uh I heard you need to help with that computer type 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 and it, just something like that man it can build a connection you can get a loyal well yeah because it takes loyal you follower, it takes man. you it takes you from like up here to like the same level that they're at mm -hmm. like it takes you to their level and they're going oh this dude's just the same as me man you ain't sitting back like like yeah i'm better than you brother you're like <laughs> nah man <laughs> yeah. you actually you you but you're sitting down with them and yeah conversation every person every comment every view every viewer in a twitch stream they're all a person and Unless you're I think a cat engaging the with them yeah or that <laughs> <laughs> i have the occasional cat i mean it, it'd be like that i try to engage with them but yeah oh, they should be skidding across the keyboard English. and stuff like that just <laughs> <laughs> but you know a rather short one but something i think Efficient. is pretty important yeah a, li a little diggy like a deeper delve into just you know being part of the community i think is engaging yeah always engage and you know and, and a, a big part of like my drive and my community and stuff I've always talked about in my stream like even in you know that one day where I have to turn off you know the ability to for anybody to chat right and just mm -hmm. followers or, or just subscribers later on whatever that might be I push those goals as far as humanly possible because mm -hmm. I want I want to engage with everybody no matter whether you're a subscriber you're a follower mm -hmm. you're this you're that like I want to engage because people lose the sense of that a lot of people lose that, you know, the, the engaging part because they want in, to engage with you. Yeah. That's simple. Yeah. Like but. I was actually, ironically, I was just, I saw a tweet early and they were like, yo, turn off follower only chat. And to be honest, that has really ruined a lot for me because, um, like as a, as a streamer, I still am a viewer sometimes. And for me, I was like, I don't know, going to someone's stream, I'm like, why do they have follower chat on? Like, man, I think Nick Merckx had subscriber only chat on one day. I was just like, bro, Nick, what happened to you, man? You were supposed <laughs> to be the person that, you know, we come to, we just want to talk to. But I'm like, yo, I understand sometimes that chat gets overwhelmed. Like, shoot, man, like something has to be done about that. Because when you go into like, I've been to even bigger streamers and they don't even have that on. But it, 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 it's all confusing because it's like, all right, some streamers don't have it all, but then some streamers literally don't interact with the chat. And I guess it does make it sometimes easier when you're a certain size too. But as long as I want to, as you said, I do want to keep that, that stuff like off lock because I feel like it's a barrier. And sometimes someone wants to talk to you first before they follow. Like I've had multiple people come into my streams oh, yeah. and just oh, sit yeah. with like, me. I'll, I'll like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go stream like, or I'll go stream. I'll go look around yeah. at streams. And like, especially like when I was smaller, maybe three, four months ago, mm -hmm. I go into other streams to not only see what, you know, what the platform is about, understand things, grow community, meet people, all that kind of fun stuff, networking yeah. per se. Um, but if I go into a stream and I go to type, right? I'm like, oh, how's it going? You know, I'm new here. How's chat? How you doing? Yeah. Who are you about? Like that kind of stuff, whatever you might say. And then it goes, oh, you have to follow to do it. I'm like, why would I? follow i don't know anything about you exactly. <laughs> why do i want to why would i subscribe i don't <laughs> yeah i've had people it, sit in with me and just chat just chat just sit in with me see what i'm all about then next yeah, thing and i that's, know that's a big follow thing. and sometimes i'll like tease i'll be like yo want to follow now <laughs> like you know sometimes <laughs> it works yeah, sometimes some, sometimes it don't we don't we ain't got to talk about that but at the end of the day and i actually had this i'm not gonna call him out but this is one streamer dbd streamer um he had follow follower only on and i remember him he replied to like maybe harder or something to one of my comments on youtube so i was like hey let's go check out his stream uh happened to be a bad day on dbd or i don't know if he's like that all the time first of all he had followers chat on and then he was pretty rude because of what was happening in the game 
so he wasn't replying to anything in the chat he was just like mad so i was like guess what i did you know i unclicked that follow button and i did <laughs> i was yeah, just like you know, nah man we can't be doing that it's just i, I want to maintain that part yeah as far as possible but you know just a continuation of so yeah like I what you what you got well I, I i wanted to extend on this a bit i really i was thinking about i got really scared because i was like man i do really want to be a bigger streamer but i never want to lose my personality i don't ever want to be like somebody donates a hundred dollars oh man he's really tearing me up in this game oh man i need to get more efficient here the hundred dollars oh man this is getting intense oh shoot man that is so that's so ungrateful in my opinion was someone drop some even a follow man i feel like i gotta read that like no matter who, like oh yeah yeah i don't i don't like when people just see some go off cool i was just i'm just watching people they just cool they keep on playing i don't like that joke it's it's all about oh no, yeah that's i mean twitch yeah. itself you know gives you that like they give you it, like the easiest part of that yeah exactly. <laughs> and it's they're going in on the platter and they're going dude just follow it here's a notification here's a name and what it's you like gonna do? <laughs> and you, and here you go keep playing the game bruh i lost count let's just move on to the next point play what you want to play but don't play dead games i hear a lot of people saying don't play oversaturated games right uh i get tired of hearing this how many bro how many videos have you clicked on when they go don't play oversaturated games oh boy a billion trillion <laughs> i'm like They're like don't play games unless there's like 300 people watching and nobody's there <laughs> you're the only one that's gonna get the view and this is literally this is literally the probably the main the main reason you made this video or you you gave the idea for this video is because oh yeah those types of tips i get what you're yeah. saying y'all about that but at the end of the day i think it's more important to not play dead games than to not play over saturated games because at the end of the day you're you want to stand out right and sometimes, you know, you may not get that little push in a saturated game, but sometimes you might. You never know who will find your channel. You never know how many of your followers already are going to pop through and then give you a little boost and you're higher on the list. And then another person, you get higher on the list. You never know. You never know who might raid you too. That's looking for smaller viewers. You never know someone who may like watching smaller view, uh, streamers, my bad, uh, smaller streamers, and they just come by and be like, yo, I found you. You never know. But the sweet spot that I have found when I was playing horror games, um and that really brought me a bit more success is when i was playing games that had anywhere from 200 to a thousand uh viewers right and uh, in a popular game like outlast and i'm like i'm really i'm, I'm see, starting to see more people coming in so i'm not saying play over don't play oversaturated games but sometimes if you want to play a game and you realize hey it has like maybe 200 even 100 100 to a certain amount of people try it out because you may get more people in that since you're going to be closer to the top they're going to be like kind of zooming in on you because it's like oh this is maybe one out of 10 people doing this and we should check him out because you know he he kind of has more viewers in this category that's just my little my little tip it was a little like a little i was like oh my god i started doing that for a while and i started getting some people coming in and uh i played outlast uh not outlast i'm sorry um silent hill 2 the other day and i realized even though it was a lot less viewers i got more followers than i usually do on stream so it, it was really it was a, it was a little nice tip that i wanted to throw in there yeah that's a good one for sure because like i i have a lot to elaborate on that because i i I think it's more important about like who you are and your niche mm -hmm. compared to what games you're playing. Yeah. Preach it, brother. Because like, like it, it's you could go into a game, like I said, a small like small game and be boring as a flat as a board, dude. It's not gonna matter. Like you need to like I feel like you play what you feel like what you feel comfortable with. Yeah. And you know that that happiness of playing something you're enjoying is going to bring people in. You know, it's going to bring that person that clicks onto your stream or your YouTube video and be way happier to be part of the community because you're enjoying yourself. You're yeah. fun to like you. They don't want to go there for nothing. Yeah. Don't, you know? don't play games with like negative five viewers. Though. <laughs> yeah. Like no. that, that's what no, I mean I by mean, dead games. Know. Literally, if it has zero viewers, yeah. no one's looking for it. Yeah, no, I agree that. And that's just one of those things where if you're doing it for like YouTube or cross, like whatever yeah. you're doing there. But yeah, it's definitely more important who you are and. I think playing what you feel is, is, is way smarter than anything you could do. Exactly. And, you know, and not worrying about, you know, if there's 
10 billion or 1000 like just just play what you feel like yeah it's just it's so much better and uh, another little side tip on that i actually used to play gwent um i don't know if you ever heard it. it's a witcher 3 card game uh they took it out of the witcher 3 and then put it in a standalone game so it's like a, just a pure, that's a deep dive it's, a pure, it's a pure card game um if you never played a witcher 3 you won't get it but um that game has a pretty pretty big streamers they don't have like too many but it has big streamers playing it right and one day i got rated with 401 viewers from a big streamer playing that bro and it was like my biggest Damn. stream and i just I, <laughs> I was so proud of myself because i didn't overreact i had been practicing i had always been saying that you know even if i have one viewer that's the equivalent of like i'm gonna act like a million people are there so that when a million people do get there i can be ready for it so i played it for a while and every time i played it more people came in and sometimes just people returned but then i was like I'm getting really frustrated with this game. I am not finding success. I'm not really, I've been, I was playing it for like three to four hours straight and you know, I love the game, but it's a card game. It's not dead by daylight. You can't switch roles. You can't be different killers. You're literally playing cards. So I was like, uh, man, I've been playing this week after week. I need to take a break. And if I, then, you know, I had a, a, a negative, you know voice in my ear talk about well you don't want to lose the people that yeah, you, you lose you got everything there. you're gonna yeah. lose everybody and I, I i held on to that but guess what like you said my personality kind of because i was like dang i don't want to play this and i learned that on it, like yeah. early on as well yeah because i i started in um in modern warfare mm -hmm. the first i would say month and a half to two months that i played and i'm talking like modern warfare constantly mm -hmm. never anything else and one game you know for like the first, I'd say, you know, month, maybe like it hooked me. I was playing it. I was mm -hmm. having fun. But that like that last two weeks before I stopped playing it, spoiler alert, but <laughs> <laughs> two, two weeks before I stopped playing it, I didn't want to play that game. Mm. I was just playing it because I felt like if I change games, I'm, I might as well just start fresh. I might as well just make a whole new Twitch yeah. channel because nobody's going to watch me. But it's not true. Because when you transfer over, yeah, you're going to lose some people because yeah. at the end of the day, like I said, you know, earlier in the video, you're going to have people that watch you for the game. It's going to happen. Yeah. But the second that you switch, you're going to see who the real people are. And man, I you're had gonna to see who the people are. that are like, bro, I don't care what you plan, man. Man. Like, I don't <laughs> and I love those people. Then you got the people. Oh, yeah, they're come great. In. They're the well, greatest part of the community, man. Well, they just hold so tight. It's like, shout out Witty. Love it. Shout out Witty. You know who you know, you the real one. I was just thinking about when I was playing um the forest, bro. I literally had this dude. I wanted to drop kick him. He came in and literally said, I only watch you for the forest. And I was just like, Did you just say what I thought you just said? I play anything I've else. Words. He doesn't show up. I only watch you yeah, for the first. I haven't seen him since I beat the force and stopped playing. Oh, well, you know, hate to be like that. I'm a nice guy, but good riddance. If you're going to be like that and bring a negativity to me, just because you want to watch one game, bro. like I am entertaining. If you watching, why? Like, bro, why are you at my stream? If you're here for the forest, there's so many other people playing the forest. What do you mean? So like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, those people are the best when they actually, I don't care what you play. I just want to be there with you. That's like, man. You you know that little emoji, and you know, you know obviously that, you, know you want emoji? everybody there to be that kind of person. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's me. But you know, you want everybody to be like that, yeah. but it, unfortunately, at the end of the day, it's not a thing. But you know, never let that hold you. Yeah, exactly. Because so. I, I lost some people when I started playing uh, other games with Sasuke went, and kind of hurt, but. You know, I wasn't about to sit there. It's more, it's more important to enjoy it. Yeah, it's more important to it, be passionate. You know, big, the big one from earlier. It's yeah, more important. Because sometimes, you know, I'll like, I'll do polls in my Discord to be like, what y'all want to see. But sometimes I'm like, I know they're gonna choose the other thing, but I want to play this. So what I am going to do, I may ask a close friend such as Witty uh, or somebody else, and I'll be like, yo, hey, would you like to see this? Because you know, I trust their opinion on things. And then they'll be like, yeah. And guess what? They usually say yeah every time because they're just supportive. You just need an extra boost to play what you want to play. So I was like, yo, I guess I'll play Silent Hill too. I didn't regret it. Instead of playing uh, DVD the whole week, I would have, you know, I kind of probably would have been tired of it by Friday. So at the end of the day, yeah, it, it's, it's important to play what you want to play and, you know, stick to the things that you want to because, as you said, your passion is going to show. And your non passion. It's gonna show 
everything that you do is gonna show on to on to your next one sir um um well on this little piece of paper bro why are you here. talking like that <laughs> <laughs> i got um number number five yeah man what's the number five I'm just a little nervous. Uh, <laughs> number five. <laughs> All right. So number five. Number five. Multi-platform growth. And I know this has been beaten into every person you know that watches <laughs> any YouTube video. How do I grow? How do I do this? Multi-platform. And it's it. And I'm gonna reiterate it here. It's true. Multi-platform growth, man. It's it's so it's so big, like so big because you know back in the day when twitch was small or youtube was small you know you can sit there and make said content there and people are going to discover you now not going to happen and in it, it, it can happen yeah, it can. i'm not saying it doesn't it can it, it can you know it's pretty rare but it can yeah but it, it's it's so much easier to just cross yourself off in other places like it's so much easier to just go you know, I'll stream like like me. I like we're we're different as far as like our platforms. Yeah. I'm mostly a streamer. You're mostly a YouTuber. Yeah, I've said it a million times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'm better at streaming than I am making YouTube content. But you know, in order to gain viewers from both sides, you got to do cross platform. And as you do do because, that, you get better at both. Yeah, exactly. That too. You're you're growing yourself in 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 other ways. And instead of just sitting in front of the camera playing a game all the time, you're also editing. You're Hi learning guys. editing skills. You're learning. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, sit in front of his camera, just hit some <laughs> buttons and make a video. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, I just you know, I just cursed one too many times. I it's edited out. Oh. I can't do that. <laughs> I'm doing a bloop. Don't even cover it up. And I, bro, I feel you because look, I'm I'm a hybrid at this point. I am a you a you streamer or a Tw you, uh, tw you, uh, I don't know anyway I do both and uh, I have and it's kind of like having a backup plan if I don't do good over here I'll do good over here and meanwhile while I'm doing no good over here I'm gonna shift people over to this where I am not doing that good to the point where both of them are doing good and for me I've been finding a lot of things on YouTube that has been changing you know changing what I do and making my videos better i've been finding uh, topics and everything so that's helping me next thing i know i got people coming to my stream like hey yo i saw that video you did amazing i loved it i'm here to stay some, some somebody was like i don't use twitch and i'm like hey you know the drill and they were like actually i might make a, a twitch account just for you just to watch you and it's like yo that's what it is like you said multi-platform growth i am trash hey. on instagram and twitter so i can't talk for those <laughs> Oh, I agree with you. It's so oh, hard so to manage this platform. So Don't try so hard, but it's, it's so hard. I give up after the first post. They don't do nothing. <laughs> but, um, you know, another thing that's unfortunately a sad reality, but it's a thing, is Twitch discoverability is so hard compared to, like, YouTube discoverability. Like, you, you hear that magic word, the algor algorithm. 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 <laughs> Echo. Echo. That word... <laughs> that word is you know is ominous but it that is true because like that, that at the end of the day that's what promotes the small people that's what promotes the small content creators and youtube's got a way better algorithm 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 than twitch does uh, uh, and it, it's just it helps across the board at least i think, to, I think, I mean, I think. To, to be fair to be fair twitch actually doesn't have an algorithm they literally don't. You don't. They, <laughs> they literally just say like, if you have the most viewers, the you're people. on top. In certain circumstances, um, I have to agree because sometimes you know typing in a few words, finding a video, it's pretty easy. And then you have to think about it. on Twitch. Let's say, um, let's say if I have five viewers already, let's just give myself five viewers. And as I it's blend that with a tip earlier, I'm going to play a game that has maybe from anywhere from 200 to a thousand if i have five i'm probably medium on that list and then somebody's liable to check my stream and click on it right so in that situation it can be easier to find a streamer just because the algorithm is well that's not algorithm the system is more is kind of simple but with youtube the thing that I had to dig into was tags. Tags, you're hard, man. You gotta do tags, titles, your thumbnail gotta be right on stream. You don't need no thumbnail on stream. You don't need 
tag well they automatically give you tags and most of all you, i mean the only thing you really got to do make a good title or put some woman yeah, put yeah. some woman's ass on on your f- screen so when you start it shows oh, yeah, shows up yeah the butt cheeks and they, they go oh we better go click <laughs> the butt cheeks they got butt cheeks but, but, but literally like it, and, and sometimes it's the other way around like if you're playing a game like modern warfare fortnite uh who plays fortnite anymore you <laughs> dead by fortnite, daylight bro, well, I never, heard never heard of it bro uh <laughs> dead by daylight you know it may be easier to find actually with Dead by daylight it's easier to find you on youtube i cannot tell you how many times i just came up with a simple video idea and my video blew up because of dead by daylight all you had to do is just get the right tags and once you get the right tags, and dead by the, daylight's got like a cult following bro, bro like on the real like i don't understand like it's a great game i just I it's mean, so many people kind of yo kind of because i'll be watch ha- anything i'll be i'll be having some people in the comments that i'll I be wanting to you know you know what i'm saying but <laughs> Um, they, but yeah, overall, when when someone sees a Dead by Daylight video and it's interesting, they click on it and they'll like it if you know if they agree with it. If they don't agree with it or you're slandering it, you will get a few dislikes. But the thing is, I don't ever slander it because I be speaking fact. But these people call it slander anyway, and they just dislike the video. But that's besides the point. Uh, <laughs> it's all about, like you said, um, multi-platform. Because let's say if it's being really hard to get found on Twitch. Try your luck at YouTube, vice versa. It's all about, like you said, interconnecting. Interconnecting and bring them all together. That's gonna make you a lot stronger than just being on one platform. If you, if, oh, yeah. and if you get to the point of making income, what if uh, YouTube's a bit short one day? You go to, you go to Twitch. You, you meet your, you meet your goal for the month. What if Twitch is a bit short one day? Switch over to YouTube, you meet your goal. So it's like you said, intertwine that junk. And if you're good at Instagram and Twitter, getting more followers and pushing them back to both of those, good on you. Come teach me, please. I will say, I was saying, <laughs> but I will say though, bring your big boy pants, cause yeah. cross-platform content, man, it, oh, it's rough. Man. <laughs> cause right now, bro, like if we weren't doing this right now, I'd probably be like, dang, bro, I need to get a video pushed out on YouTube. Dang, man, I stream tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes I have to yeah. record before, and then I'd be getting in my Discord and interacting with people. Then I'd be realizing, man, I ain't do my university work. It's it's a lot. I know a lot of y'all have a big, a big a lump sum of non-vegan meat on your plate, and it's real. It, it, it's hard to handle sometimes. So, so be prepared. Time oh, yeah. time management is a big key. What you got? You got one more? Yeah, I kind of leashed. I'm all out. I kind of, I kind of leashed off of you and Jen, which y'all told me on stream the other night. So I give y'all full, full uh, credit for that. Uh, I was thinking about it for a while. I was, oh, the big one. I was dumb enough not to do it. I'm building it up. I was, I was kind of like Sean Bean in Game of Thrones and anything he plays in. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Making the wrong decisions. Knowing that it's gonna mess him up, but he does it anyway. <laughs> he just does it anyway. Why do you think Sean Bean dies in everything that he plays in? Dumb decisions. <laughs> this man get on set and go, hey man, where do I die? When do I die? How do I die? Instantly. So I had to stop being Sean Bean for a bit. And I had to turn off my view count. Because I was, you know, we was we was playing DBD actually in uh, Among Us, right? And I was talking and I, it was a giveaway stream, my first giveaway stream. And I was wondering, where's everybody at? I went on Instagram and I was like, hey, everybody come by your bum. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I told everybody to come. I didn't call them bums though. I just said come by. I called people bums in my intro video on YouTube, but they didn't come by. But that's besides the point. I told everybody to come by. Um, I thought I was going to be popping off that night because it was a giveaway stream. And, it, you know, it's my first collab stream with you and Jen. And um, then I looked over and I was like, dang bro i got one viewer i said it i think i said it out loud and y'all was just like yo turn that junk off and then after i turned it off i was still a little, a little sore from it because i you know i thought you know no one's gonna be there but then i started started looking less over here unless somebody chatted and more over here and up here interacting started focusing more then i played silent hill 2 didn't know who the heck was in there besides chat i didn't stress about it once I felt that you remember I used to say I used to leave stream depressed. That's because I used to be looking at that viewer account. I cut that junk mm-hmm. off. I it took have that been, huge weight right off bro, their shoulders. I have not been this excited to stream Wednesday than like ever because of that. Great man. Because I'm man. like, 
I'm like feeling revitalized, especially with my YouTube popping off right now. I'm feeling revitalized, man. And I'm feeling like that's going to take me somewhere. So to everybody who is streaming on whatever platform, turn off your view count. Don't worry about how many people you got. Be yourself. Don't. Because exactly. it, 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 yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It plays multiple things because like, you know, I, I've done it. I've been doing it now for like a month and a half, two months. Mm hmm. I, for the first like month and like, or first two months of me streaming, I had it on and you know, I've had a little bit more time to learn from it than you have. Mm -hmm. But that being said, like it does so many things. Like it, it's, it's not, it's not just like a one function thing. Like it yeah. makes you interact more, you know, it makes you take your eyes off of that whole count because it, yeah. it messes with you and it, it just takes that weight off your shoulders because and, and it plays on your mind and when it plays on your mind you know you're you're gonna be a better streamer content yeah. creator at the end of the day Cause I, because I, you're yeah. going you know there could be like I was talking about earlier today when we talked yeah there can be 200 there could be two yeah exactly but your brain's like bro there could be 200 though like you gotta think bro there could yeah be and what if what if a lot of those people are just <laughs> lurking and trying to see what I'm doing here yeah, like you don't know. Like you can say the right thing, and next thing you know, you'll get eight hundred followers. Like you gotta yeah, be that's careful. What I'm saying. Like, <laughs> and, and like personally, I know myself. I see that follower drop. I mean, not that follower, that uh, viewer count drop, and I just my face just drops immediately. I'm pretty yeah, sure it, people it, can it, it messes with you. Yeah. So and, and and with the the flip side of it, you can now you can you know you can stream like it's always two hundred. Yeah, exactly. And you can always feel good, and even. Even on days you don't feel too great, you know, you don't have that that number just weighing down your mental because it, it affects you. Yeah, it affects like, you greatly. Bro, I used to sometimes I used to cancel streams because I couldn't take it no more. Like I used to be like, hey man, I can't stream today. Not after that, right there, I can't stream today. And of course, you know, I had some more negative. That's what I goes back to like point two million, like two year, two million years ago, where I was talking about, you know. Being careful who you trust and who you have in your ear because they can be spreading some negativity. They can be like egging you on to uh, like keep, you know, like I was actually egged on. Yo, take a break. Take a break. Since, you know, you haven't been getting many viewers. How about, you know, don't focus on the viewers. Turn your view count off. You know what I'm saying? Huge. And then then when you tell me to stop focusing on the viewers, then all of a sudden you want to start talking about viewers. Like, make up your mind. So I really appreciate y'all for telling me to turn off the view count because that's... I'm happy to help you with it, man. man. It's, a, it's a great thing. Now I'm over here all thing. cheery because as long as I got a couple people <laughs> chatting in chat, man, I am good. Because that, yep, that saves a millisecond of me looking at this and then moving over. Because then I'm just like, hey, yo, chat, blah, blah, blah. Game. Chat, blah, blah, blah. Game. It just makes it so much simpler. Great. So much more simple, man. All right. So before we send this off, I'm empty handed. We now. on that? We on the hour, the hour mark over here. Yeah, we we over here on the hour mark. <laughs> you, you you made it here. You the realist for real. Thanks. We probably gonna cut a lot out because I said some things. You're probably that sleeping have been at aired. this point. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I wanna I wanna go ahead and go over each one. Just re just re Sam. Yeah. Um, you know, list them off like you know one one through ten. Yeah, and then um, and then we'll, we'll end this off. Let's go back and forth so nobody gets confused. So you started. All right, I'll start off. I think I started. So yeah. So number one, be yourself, man. Be yourself. Be yourself. Uh, number two, don't expect instant success. I said it right this time. <laughs> be prepared for <laughs> early failure. Be prepared to be hurt. But you know, number three, this is the beginning. Number three, be part of the community. That's a fact. Don't be a bum. Don't be a bum. Don't be a bum. <laughs> I should have added that one in there somewhere. <laughs> number four, be careful. A bonus, a bonus. <laughs> Wait, it's number four? I lost count already. Am I dumb? Yeah, you're number four. You okay, right. okay. <laughs> be careful who you tie yourself to and trust. Who you hang around is it? Is pretty much who you are. Uh, and don't just make anybody a moderator. Trust. Build the trust. Make sure the trust is solid. You would not. It's brief. It's a brief summary. Don't worry. You would not go on a bridge that you don't know is sturdy already unless you see everything, you know, very solid. So, hey, be careful. Precautions. Precautions. <laughs> Number five, grow together. Find people you want to be around, grow together. Like this right here. Right this, like, like, like this I mean, right you're here. all right. I mean, I yeah, you're all right. You know what I'm saying? He ain't all that, you know? I'm trying to get some of that that YouTube clout, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, facts. He's reaching <laughs> off me. I'm going to steal his, I'm going to steal his <laughs> Twitch you tomorrow i'm gonna be like who who are you what would you what tomorrow when i show i'm gonna be like y'all he a bum come come to me <laughs> um uh this is number six um be passionate or don't stream invest and don't 
I said respect return. Don't expect the return right away. Don't respect return. Don't respect return. <laughs> don't respect return right away. Yeah, don't, 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 you know, don't, don't do that. Don't expect a million dollars to drop into your account because you spent a million dollars. To be fair, though, you shouldn't be spending a million dollars, you know, but it's all up to how much you spend. Don't expect return right away. For sure. Number seven, which is uh, the one from the community part, engage. Engage. Always keep that engage. Engage. Engage, engage, engage. engage there you engage, go. Because you didn't say the three <laughs> times like you did before. So it had to be three Need times. A billion times. Yeah, yeah. Really important, though. All right. Number eight million. Um, Play what games you want to play, but don't play dead games. Because, you know, if you play a dead game. Play games you want, but don't play Dead by Daylight. <laughs> That's a fact. Save yourself some trouble as a killer main. Yeah, don't just yeah, don't get into that. Please, that, you know that that life. You never get out. You never get out because I quit a long time ago. <laughs> that video got so many views on it. Why I quit? And now I got people being like, "Bro, I thought you quit. Did you see the new video, bro? I told you why I was up. You know, let me go get into <laughs> it. Yeah, don't play dead games. Number nine, multi-platform growth. I'd say one of the biggest ones right there. Yeah, literally. Uh, a lot of these i got a, a good example uh i know i mentioned connor earlier but he's a really big inspiration for me for me ignoring all the stuff that happens outside of Aquaman. uh this dude literally okay he had a fight with floyd mayweather as everyone knows every everybody and their grandma know about that even my grandma when she before she passed she knew about that she was like oh, connor fought floyd i was like grandma you don't even watch fighting <laughs> but um he he was smart he uh has this irish whiskey company where he uh, does his own whiskey. He waited until he fought Floyd, which is the hugest platform he'd ever been on. And he promoted his whiskey. Now, he doesn't really have to fight anymore if he doesn't want to, even though he says he's going to. He, uh, you know, he all that whiskey. He's retired, but he's coming back, of course, to fight. But think about it. This man has a backup. He has like a backup, and I'm pretty sure he has a backup for that. But he doesn't need a backup anymore for that <laughs> because this man's popping off in all, all these countries. I can't wait to try the freaking whiskey it looks pretty good but you know it's all about having like you said your multi-platform don't just be a cage fighter make your own whiskey too there you go that, that's a great one right there i'll put that in the thumbnail bit don't, don't be just a cage fighter be a whiskey salesman <laughs> <laughs> and then uh number 10 you got the last one yeah i had to do the dramatic stare to the camera oh okay sorry sorry turn off your viewer count or you a bum big one turn off you damn viewer count or you a bum it ain't worth it or you a bum or you a bum or you a bum <laughs> oh look don't look at him look at me don't look at him nah, look, look at me no 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 right here nah, nah, you, see me? you see this you see the no blue in the background count. i gotta flash your background look at me <laughs> well seriously <though. gasps> <laughs> yo for real though look hurt, look bro. look look turn it off trust me i just did this a few days ago and it's made my look I, I'm telling you, I already know it's going to make my streams more entertaining. I already know it's going to take me to another level. Turn off your view count. Don't be focused on what kind of views you got now. If anything, focus on your chat. You might notice some new faces in there. Treat everybody like you treat the other one. Nice, kind, unless they're a bum. I'm joking. <laughs> treat them, treat everybody the same. You know, of course, you're going to have to deal with some rude people, but, you know, come in there, take care of that and keep it up like sometimes look that how you know you have a lot of people when your chat starts scrolling but you know just try to keep a conversation with the people right there in the chat and look this is a side very side bonus tip please don't don't do what i did and call out your lurkers by clicking on the list to see who's watching that's just embarrassing <laughs> I, I used to do that i feel so bad man i just feel hey yo craig i see you over there watching my stream and they ain't saying nothing dog and, and they're just like uh, like bro i'm pooping bro, like, bro. <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, like bro they, i ain't want to say nothing dog and I, and I i'm guilty of that i'm i'm recently guilty of that because i literally went over there and was like hey i've never seen you here before <laughs> but yeah look don't don't worry about who or what is watching your stream unless up you know ninja pops up in there daquan they're just like hey brother and you're just like <gasps> but you know they would chat if they're gonna be in there so <laughs> don't 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 be focused on True. the numbers be focused on making your stream production amazing well i think that uh that wraps it up yeah it only took like two hours that's about it man. only took two oh, hours. yeah only like five hours yeah, yeah man Lifetime. we like to keep it raw over here you know keep that time i think going. i got another gray Just hair talking. up here 
<laughs> well, either way, you know, appreciate everybody sitting through this. Yeah, because hopefully, you know, hopefully, me and my boy, me, so we can keep doing this. I yeah, think this is great. I don't know why y'all listen to us bums, but you know, we we try. Yeah, no, I. We really trying it. <laughs> we trying to half a person that made it here. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, bro. Hey, it was a fun time, man. Hell yeah, man. That was great. I'm gonna put the links down below. Me and my boy over here. Yeah, same here. I'm gonna keep him. Gonna, Do it. I'm gonna check us out. He he streams sometime. I don't know. He streams something. I, I bro, know. I stream three times. I think, a he, week. I think he plays DVD. Uh, uh, some weird game. I'm not sure. I get. I guess this man be playing catch a furry. Uh, I don't know. Oh yeah. You see his beard. I can't even sort that I'm thing, an, man. I'm I can't, an avid, bro, I can't, look, I'm uh, sorry. I can't even sort that beer. It's beautiful, man. I can't sort it, man. Oh yeah, you can't. Nah, man. Ooh. I can't, bro. I can't. I can't come up with nothing. This man, red beer. This man, red beer. What trademark? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. I, I I appreciate everybody stopping by, watching, hanging out. You know, whether you're on Miso's channel or over here. You know, and I think I think we got more of these coming. Yeah, we do. It's gonna Yo, be something good. If y'all on my channel, go drop him a subscription and follow on Twitch. If this whole video was not enough to make you do that, just suck. <laughs> All right, my boy. I'm just waiting for you to do the same it. thing. I wasn't going to self-advertise, but I guess y'all over there, if y'all on his channel, come follow me too. I ain't want to do it. I, he, I said go check him out. You know, you know, he, he didn't do it though. You know, you know, he, he you know how to do it. I already told you I'm trying to get the cloud, dog. Gee. Damn man, it's gonna hurt my like, hurt my feelings like that, man. My my yo, my beer is offended, man. Bear Bear is a thoroughly offended back here. <laughs> Look how he's looking at you, man. Do you see this man? Is he looking at you like? Well, he. You, I heard he still has his viewer count on, so I can't relate. Really. <laughs> Ew. All right. All right peace, out. peace out. Peace <laughs> out.